Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now, let's go back like this. So I've got most of the town being dealt with with that one. I've got vehicles coming back here to the depot. Or there should be. Where are the vehicles? They should all be on their way back to the depot. I can't see them. Seriously, why aren't you all coming back to the depot? Oh, wait. No, he's... It's not... Cha is it changed over yet? They have changed over. They've already changed over. Look, I've got that one right there. Is the electric car. Thanks to the miracle of electricity, now the streetcar can service all the important places. As if that weren't enough, with a pleasant fragrance, too. <laughs> okay. Right. So we've got the streetcars. That's what that little humming was, was all the streetcars. And at least they, they are working, though, right? At least we've got them all working. Right there. They really seem to like the streetcars. Look at that. Look at them go. These things are brilliant. I actually really like these. They're a little bit noisy. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking that one in there. It's the noise of the city that's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit loud in places. Yeah. Like when I'm over it, with the electric from the trams... But if I turn the noise down for the city, the audio, the, the, the voiceover sound, that one goes down as well, which is not quite so good. Uh, right. Buy vehicles in here. I need to... Ooh. Now, look at this. Hang on. Right, let's slow that down a little bit. So, we've got Baldwin six wheels right there. Then, we've got the 440 General. This American-type locomotive has been used very successfully on many railroad lines in the USA and is also known as, uh, from the Buster Keaton film, The General. Then we've got the Baldwin Class 56. The Consolidation was a standard freight locomotive and could pull twice as heavy trains at half the cost of its predecessors. And then we've got the Mogul here. It's one and a half million to get this. The 260 axle arrangement was mainly used for tank locomotives. This type was often built in the U.S. between 1860 and 1930. I want that one. I think I want that one. It's got 122 tons, 80 kilonewtons, and power of 40. 70, 285. Uh, power 400, not 40. Good gravy. Um, yeah, I think this is the one. I think this is the bad boy that we want. We want that one right there. I need to be able to move everything. So the boxcar doesn't move the logs but it does the silver spoons and those the flat car with the stakes moves the logs the gondola moves the silver ore that so i don't have anything that moves just like the i don't need to move the silver spoons i need to move logs from one over to there from the log thing over to el fuerte over there and then i need to pick up the silver from El Fuerte and I take it over to the spoon mines. The, the spoon mines? The, the spoon manufacturing. And then the spoons themselves, we're going to get them into the city, but we won't be using the train to do that. So I'm going to want uh, two, three of those and then the gondola for carrying the silver. One, two, three three of those. That gives me a overall capacity. I've got 79 metres long. That's absolutely fine. Uh, mediocre on there. Ah, I can move those things. So I'm going to add in one more of each of these. There. So 99 metres long. I'm going to bring that one back this way. Oh. Move you up there. Move you up there. There we go. Four and four, just like that. So that's going to cost me three million dollars to buy that one. I'm going to need another one. So we'll just stop that a second. And I want to go to the line manager and I want to make a new line. So we want to start off with there. Top of Bampo. 
Then I want to go over there to El Fuerte. And then I want to go to the top of the Bampo Exchange. So I've got just a simple loop that will run around the three stations just like that. So there's that bit done. Then I can go into here and I want to go Toppla Bampo Train Depot in there. You can go and you can be green like that. Copy that one out and I've got another one exactly the same. And then if I click on here, I can name it very quickly. Brett Nelson and Douglas Campbell are both ready and raring to go. So we'll take them out and we'll put them onto line three, just like that. There. Now, you should come dashing out from there and go racing around the train. Oh, that is a gorgeous looking train. Look at that train. Is that not absolutely spectacular? Especially with the gondola that we've got back there. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. Let's rush you along a little bit. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. I love it. You'll come up to there. You will stop. And we've already loaded you with logs. And you're on to the next station. You go on round. And what I'm hoping now is that, yes, Brett Nelson. Brett Nelson is on his way as well. He's going to come on through. Watch him from this way. He's going to come into this station in here. And he's going to load up some logs as well. So that one is just sat there waiting. He's going to wait for the other train to move. And wait for that train to go out of that station. So he's off. Douglas Campbell over here has now got 28 bits of silver on board. And that is filling up the gondolas at the back. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. I can't see it actually filling up the gondola. There doesn't seem to be a visual on the gondolas on there. I don't know that it really matters. And he's into there. So then Brett Nelson is up there with 60,000 in there. And 21 silver ore has gone into there. Right, so I've now got a decent circuit going all the way around. I've got logs down here. Waiting over here. Douglas Campbell is away with 28 logs on there. And then Brett Nelson is coming down here into this station. And those two are just going to keep going in a permanent circle. Going whizzing round and round and round and round. And possibly round a little bit more. So then I can whiz you around over here. I don't want tram tracks on this one. And we've got two plat. I'm just going to have this as a fairly basic and simple... Meshuggah, just set up like that, and then we need to come into here, so I need actually to put in a station in here. Now, am I going to want to put this with the trams? Is trams the only thing that I can really use? What vehicles have I got available? If I go into uh, buy vehicles in here, cargo, I've got that one. For buying road vehicles. If I go to, no, I don't want that one. I want this one in here, the tram depot. If I look in here, we've only got passenger, all right? I can, so I can only do passenger, right? Make sure lower top of the bambo is connected to the street network. Yeah, that's that one there. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that one for a minute. Let me just go to normal speed for a second. So I don't need to worry about that one for a minute. I want to go back in here, and I am going to need to just put this one as one of those stations. And that is putting it right in front of the hotel. Although the whole point of this was not to have horse manure being put everywhere in the town. Right, that was the whole idea, was I was supposed to not have horse manure being put everywhere. But I haven't got any other transport at the moment. No other transportation is available. Streets. I'll take a medium street off of there and I'll join that one straight in like that. There, no tram tracks on that one at the moment, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll leave it as it is. And then I want to add another line. 
which is going to be you, and it's going to be that one. Right there, Davis. Could not connect all stations. Wait, what? Why not? Huh? You should be able to. Oh, wait a minute. Am I not allowed to put that one in front of there? Is that what it is? I've got a road that comes up through here. I've got the lower top of the bambo on there. Davis Street. Could not connect all stations. Might not be allowing me to do that. Because of things, reasons. So if I remove that one from there a minute and I go over this side, uh, we go into the buildings. It's a truck unload stop that I want, but if I put that one down there, that might be better. So I drop that one there like that. So we've just we've just shunted it along a little tiny bit. That's all. That's all I've done is I've moved it up. New line. I've got the line here. Right. Oh! Ah, Frithka, idioto. Uh, so let, let me go back down to here a second and I will remove that one again. So I don't think there was, it would have stopped me from building it there, surely. Wouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, so I'll dump that one into there and then I will go here and I get rid of that one. Confirm. And then I will go into here and I'll take that one and I'm going to move that in a little bit so it's actually connected to the road. That's the bit that it didn't like. That's what was wrong with it to start with. So then I can go back to here. I've got line four. Click to, uh, yeah, add station. Right. Lower top of the bambo and then go over this way and add... Davis Street. Right, so that will sit. He'll simply go up, he'll turn round, and he will go back again. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. I don't mind if it's a straight um, forward and back, just like that. It's got to supply that hotel. That's the idea of it. So the road depot in here. Let's buy a few vehicles then. We've got the American horse drawn carriage. One, two, three, four of those for a minute, I think. I don't think we need any more than that. Let's put you as that colour. Not that the colour really makes much difference for these. We have Dave Davidson, Gorilla Wizard Gaming, Miss Mucky Pup and Robert Gurk. And they are all going to be assigned onto Line 4. So they will transport our spoons nobly and diligently backwards and forwards between these two tracks over here. Uh... I'm sort of thinking that maybe I should set up another loop to start doing the distillery stuff. I mean, it did say one or the other for now. But I'm wondering if it's going to ask me to do the other one anyway. So, I, I mean, I've, that one's over there and it's ready and waiting. We'll... I think we'll wait and see. We'll just let, we'll just let that one do what it's going to do a minute. These trams are rather nice, but they sure are a noisy affair, aren't they? That's the only downside to them, is that they are a little bit of a noisy affair as they go trotting along through the... Well, not trotting along, as they go racing along through the town. Um, but they're not the ones that we really care about. The ones that we care about over here, we've got... Well, Meredith Wyatt is, is busy running around with those. Uh, I've got logs on that one. Uh, Gorilla Wizard Gaming has got five spoons on board. Now... I have heard that there are no spoons, but Gorilla Wizard Gaming seems to be about to prove everybody wrong and is indeed going to have some spoons. So he is going to go all the way over here to the top of the Bambo Hotel. Uh, to, is that the hotel? Yes, the top of the Bambo Hotel. And then we've got the hospital over here, which needs the booze. But at the moment... We've got him racing along over here. He's going to go right down to the end. There he is. And round we go. He's going to come all the way up here. And he's going to dump five spoons off here. I've got more people following. I've got Robert Girk closely behind down there. So we will... Right, supplying... Well, it's going to take a minute or two to supply the hotel, even at this speed. 
these bits are doing okay, but it said one or the other, didn't it? When it was when it originally said the um, the thingy majiggy, it said one or the other. So we either need to do the spoons, or we need to do the whiskey over here. The, well, not the whiskey. The um, it's not whiskey at all, is it? It's uh, um, 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 I can't remember now. Tequila. It's tequila. Um, I always forget. I always forget tequila. Right. Gorilla Wizard Gaming is racing back over this way. He's almost back over, uh, ready to load up with another five spoons. So he's going to go racing into there. Grab five spoons right there. L load them up and he's on his way again. So that's going to make 25 spoons. Dave Davidson right there is racing on his way back for another five spoons. I've got Robert Gurk there for another five spoons. And finally, we got Miss Monkey Pup bringing up the rear. She is the one that is going to bring in the last of the spoons. So I will we'll just keep an eye on this. We'll let Miss Monkey Pup do her run all the way over to there. And we'll see if we do actually need to set up the run for the tequila. We're making a nice bit of cash now. I've got a decent bit of money coming in. I can see this... Uh, Quite a few different bits of money that are coming up, and Miss Monkey Pup is running down there on the home stretch. We've got there, someone has just come in and tipped out right there. Miss Monkey Pup is just pulling up here. She's gonna stop, and we're gonna have the five spoons. There we go, Tasman Peaches. The fundamental needs of the community are provided for. Even more is being produced than the colony needs for itself to enable prosperity to multiply. The surpluses produced so diligently and with lots of enthusiasm ought to be exported. Earnings from the export trade would be helpful during this crucial phase because several investments to the benefit of one and all still lie ahead. Decide which commodity you want to export overseas for the benefit of society. Make a decision. Export 30 alcohol or 60 silver spoons. We're going to export 60 silver spoons. Silver spoons from the legendary silver mines in the Sierra Madre are going to be a major export hit. Deliver 60 silver spoons to the port. Right, so where is the port? That's the port over there. I've got to get 60 silver spoons down over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to change that one around just for a minute. So we will go to this line here, and I will go to line four, right there. So Davis Street, we're going to remove that one from the list, and I'm going to add station top of the bamboo. Doesn't d d d doesn't compute. Does not compute. Right, top of bamboo export, that one i got to get rid of. Let me just pause that a second. And what I'm going to have to do instead is... Wait, can I just... No, I can't. Top of bamboo export is not a thing that I can do. I've got to build a, a stop next to it. So I do actually need to go to this one. We want to go to buildings. We want to go to uh, truck station, bus track. Yeah, we want a truck station right there. And I want to put that bad boy right in there like that $93,000 right there thank you very much and now I can go back into here line four right there add station and it's going to be that station right there so I've got line four coming through there they go through the middle of town that's absolutely fine they can keep doing that that's that's a nice easy run right the way through there we won't bring spoons to the hotel yet We'll just take them to export, and we will export those spoons there. I might change it and also bring them to the hotel later on, but we'll get these ones running first. And I'm just going to have it on regular speed for a minute. There are simply too many bachelors hanging around on the streets of Topolobampo. It's enormously detrimental to productivity. That's why you should see to it that their rambunctious ways are tamed. And what better way than the responsible task of starting a family? Uh, okay. When people get married, they have children. And then they become law-abiding and straight-laced. You ought to help out a bit on the subject of romance, so that it won't be long before wedding bells are ringing. 
Bring 10 people to the romantic viewing platform for love-struck couples and decorate the area with 10 trees for a bit of privacy. Where is the platform? The, the romantic place. It, 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 it's probably not the Guano Warehouse down there. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's not there. Uh, now, it could be anywhere. I suppose, really, I could just arrange weddings and go there. Ah, right. That's what that road is. I, told, I, I said to you, there's a road up here. Didn't know what it was for. This is what it is for. There's the romantic area right there. Romance is in the air. Right, so what i got to do is I've got to do a horse and cart ride up to there, haven't I? That's obviously one of the first things that we've got to do. So if we go to roads over here, we'll go to small country road like that. This small country road. Take me home country road. We want to bring that one over this way. So you... Really? I don't want that one going underground. So I'm going to bring that over to there. Like that. So I'd like to avoid it going under the ground there, if we can help it. And that one's going to go over there. And then it's going to go down into here. Like that. Right, so I've got that bit in place. Now I need to go up here and... Well, let's go to line manager, new line. I don't have anything up here that I can set yet. So I'm actually going to need to put a bus tram stop up here or a bus tram station. I don't want a station. We're just going to put a bus stop up here. Like this. I'll put one there. Because that, that's that's where they they want to get to. Is that, that They want to get to this bit right here, don't they? So we're going to drop that one right there like that. And then I'm going to come all the way down here. And we're just going to take... Where are we going to go with this? I need my new, uh, new line. Click on stations to add. Right. I can take it from that one. On that end. I think that's probably the closest one. We'll take them from this one here. They'll, they'll go from there. From North Street. They will go all the way here to Sunset Street up there. That is all they're going to do. It's going to be one loop right there around North Street. And then they'll go all the way up to the top so that they can go up to the top up there. So that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to have two carriages running this line. So, Toppler Bambo Road Depot right there. Buy vehicles. Passenger. Wait, what? I don't have any passenger vehicles. I can do it via tram, but I don't want to install a tram line all the way up at the top there. When do I get... An actual, like, it, just a horse-drawn carriage is all we want. Anything to get up to the top up there would be absolutely great. Uh, so I do need, well, I've, I've got a bus stop up there. Let's, let's not do anything extra on that at the moment. There was here, assets. Said ten trees to decorate the area, didn't he? Carry people, plant ten trees. So we will go for a mountain maple. Here and here. We'll go for some acacia. Now, they're going to want the, the view out across there. So, we, we don't want to do anything that's going to spoil the view. A bristle cone pine. Big old beauty there. I'll put that one up. And a chola cactus. Say it with flowers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Say it with flowers. Right there. I'll put in another cactus. Right, so I've done that bit. And now I've got to get people up there. And unless I upgrade that to a tram line, I'm not going to be able to transport anybody. At least not yet. 
maybe in 1887 we will get a horse-drawn carriage, but I, I really don't want to have to put a street all up with the settings electric. Tram track. I'm going to have to, aren't I? I'm going to have to put a tram track all the way up into the mountain in order to be able to get this to work, aren't I? It's the only way it's going to work. I'm going to have to do that. That's ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous that I'm having to put this up there. Anyway, it, it, it's done now. We're, we're done right now, so that, that that's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. We go here. We will go to the tram depot there, and I will buy vehicles. So I've got a horse-drawn streetcar. I've got the San Diego electric trolley. We'll do the electric trolley. We'll bring one of those. Nine grand a year. That one is five grand a year. Horse-drawn streetcar there. Six and a half thousand. I'll, I'll go with one of these. I'll go with one of these. I'm thinking two would be enough. So I'll get two of those. I'll just go like that. And we will set the color of... Actually, I need to go like that. We'll set the color of them. Both is obviously going to be pink. Like that to match the line. I uh, need some names. Joshua Doll and Bradley Tip Lady are going to be carrying everybody up and down the line here. So I will go there and I will set them onto line five. Unable to find path to stop. Missing electric tracks. Right, somewhere I've got missing electric tracks. That comes all the way down here. And it's likely... To I was going to say, it's likely to be the joint here, but it's not actually. Oh, right there. Right, okay. Uh, that's easy enough. We'll go to you, and that's a medium street that I got there. And I want to upgrade that. I can't upgrade that bit. I can upgrade that. Oh, that, that does put a connection in between it. So I can put that one in, and I can put that one in over there. So I've now got the correct upgrades. Do you? Yeah, you've, you've got everything that you need. Right, I've now got those going through, so then I can go back to my vehicles. Line 5, I've got Joshua Doll on there. The tram depot down here, Bradley Tip Lady, you can also go to line 5, and you're away as well. Excellent. Right, so I'm now going to carry people from here, North Street... Up to the next one. That's Comp Techie there. He's uh, just one of the guys that is uh, one of the carriages. Joshua Doll. Right there. He's heading off to North Street. So North Street doesn't have anybody going on Line 5 yet. They will eventually. And we've now got spoons. I've got 11 spoons have been carried down here so far and uh, for export. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting up this next bit right here. The El Fuerte Cactus Farm produces cactus. Transport shipments. i got guano over there. And then over here we've got the El Fuerte Distillery. And I've got El Fuerte itself all connected up so the first thing i want to do is i want to go back this way we're going to go with a medium street i'm going to bring it from actually you know what i'm going to go here i want to bring that across this way so i'm going to go i'm going to extend that one out like that uh we will go no tram line on this for a minute we can always upgrade it later if we want to and that is going to go across there like that I can do that. It's not going to let me because it's building a dam across. That's just no bridge. It's, it's raising the terrain up to meet it. Oh, we have a bridge. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.